Good morning everybody, we're back after some big bream and big tench and there's no rain but it's really really windy if you can hear but uh, bright and early again so let's get down there to the lake get set up and let's see what we can catch today and hopefully we can catch the uh, first uh, tinker of the season you never know yeah so we're uh, just walking over the field now and it is really really breezy uh, but there's no rain till 10 o'clock which is good because I like to give it till about nine o'clock so let's see if there's any other anglers on here and uh, place the baits again and let's see what we can catch fingers crossed might get another big bream and I'm I'm hoping for a first tench of the season because there's some nice ones in here so let's see what we can catch Yeah, so these are the uh, bite alarms I'm using. I like the uh, the Fox alarms, and these are the uh, Micron SX. I do like the digital ones, very sensitive, and they were a very good uh, bite alarm. I use these for 90% uh, of my fishing now, and just using a, a Fox pod, very easy to put up. These are the little bits that I'm going to be putting up now. But boy, is it windy! Oh, and these are the uh, the swingers I use. Perfect for this wind, because then you don't get many uh, false bite indications. So this is the rig I'm using for the tench. I've chosen three grains of sweet corn and uh, a running ledger, and that works uh, well for me. And if you're wondering why I've got this this bead on here I know you're all gonna say that you know that bead shouldn't be there and the uh, safety clip should be straight onto the swivel but with this particular safety swivel that I have found it doesn't fit in the uh, safety lead clip so I've put a, a, a bead on there uh, just to stop it getting uh, getting stuck just on that uh, swivel piece there and then if it gets stuck it acts as a, a bolt rig and uh, I don't want it to act as a bolt rig I want it uh, free running so that's the reason why here's the finished product a nice PVA bag with three pieces of sweet corn as you can hear it's really really windy now and there's a nice juicy lobworm ready to go out there and hopefully catch me a big bream oh this wind's terrible absolutely terrible right so we've got both the rods in all looking good so let's see what goes first whether it's the worm or whether it's the sweet corn I'm hoping both go but uh, we'll have to wait and see there my Shimano reels, best reels I have ever owned. I use them for 90% of my fishing. So let's just see what happens. There we go, we've got a nice big bream in the landing net. I didn't get the uh, the action shot because it's in the dark obviously my GoPro doesn't work very well in the dark but it's a lovely 8 pound 11 ounce bream beautiful fish yeah nice big bream Beautiful big bream, eight pound eleven. 
Yeah, so that was nice, wasn't it? A nice early morning bream, £8.11. And the uh, all the wildlife is definitely waking up. So we'll give it another, another 10 minutes or so. I've just got the bream in the net. And once we get a bit more light, we'll get him out, have a look at him, take a couple of photographs, and then put him back in again. But what a great start. There we go, another beautiful, pristine, big bream, bit of a split fin, beautiful fish, well chuffed this morning. Well, another beautiful early morning bream of eight pound, 11 ounces. What a cracker, caught on sweet corn this time. There we go, another beautiful big bream early morning caught on sweet corn I'm doing well with the bream this early spring so beautiful big fish well shuffle for this one right let's uh, put it back and see if we can get another one beauty well happy with this bream well happy Yeah, I'm returning uh, in the sack just so you don't drop the bream. As you can see, she's got spawning modules on her. She's been well rested up, so she'll go when she's ready. There we go, there she goes. Just finding her bearings now. Well, I've got my little friend down here, Mr. Duck. He's, he's liking the sweet corn as well. Got to love the uh, wildlife when you're fishing. He's been with me all morning. Haven't you, mister? Hey? Lovely. Oh, we've just got a, a nice tench on here. Come on, Mr. Tench. Got some power, these Tench. Oh, he's just unceremoniously coming in backwards. Just caught on one of his fins. Nice male. There we go, he's in. There we go. First one of the season. So my first tench of the season and it's four pound three ounces. A big male. There we go. A nice big male tench. Uh, this one's got a lot of red coloration on it. Uh, he's all right though. It's uh, sort of like uh, an infection they get but he's okay but yeah nice scrap on it nice early morning tench my first one of the season four pound three ounces from my local park lake brilliant yeah so here's me my tench all these red marks is like an infection that the tench get it's okay it's only an infection It'll pass, but it's the first one of the season. Spoon like fins, look at that. You can tell it's a big male. Beautiful fish. Right, let's get him back. fish on here. I think it's a bream. 
It is a bream. It's another nice bream. Here we've got another bream on. This is a bigger bream. Oh yes. Here we go, another big bream. Let's see how much this one weighs. This one's eight pound, eight pound two. There we go, another big slab of a bream. My second eight pounder, so I'm quite chuffed to bits with this. Absolutely stonking fish in here, these, uh, these bream. I know they grow bigger, but uh, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So we had a, a nice bream this morning and a Nice tench of four pounds. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Another nice bream. Nearly the same size as my other one. Eight two this one. Beautiful fish. Bit of a split fin there. But otherwise, in superb nick. Another bream being returned. Where you go, Mr. Bream? Oh, you've hit the bottom there, have you? Oh, you hit the post. There we go. Well, that's uh, it for me now. So, if you've uh, liked this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be doing some more uh, videos pretty shortly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.